Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. All right, so I very excitedly got delivery of the new tripod head. And since it came so early this morning, that means I'm gonna have time to put it on and head out to Pleasure House Point and do some birding before it rains. I gotta tell you, this thing is a lot bigger and heavier than I was expecting. That's the uh, spot that the camera's gonna sit on. And there it is. Ooh. Yeah, I see what they mean. One of the things that I've read about these types of tripod heads is that they have some kind of grease in there that makes them really hard to move. And apparently there are a number of videos that show you how to go in, take these apart, clean all that shit off there, and put a better grease or lube on there to make it work smoother. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, I'm gonna take this other tripod head off and put this one on. So in case you can't see it, now it just sits on here and you've got nice smooth pans and tilts. So when you get those birdies that fly. All right. Success. Let's see how it works out in the field. Next stop, Pleasure House Point. All right, so here we are. We're back at Pleasure House Point. And on my way in, when I was getting my gear together, a fellow photographer told me that there were a number of yellow herons and green herons. I guess it's now their time to be here. So, so far, so good. I mean, I just walked in and saw a gigantic yellow crane over there. And I think that's a green heron that I'm getting over here. He just sort of swooped in and off the water and, and is just sitting there. I wish I could get closer, but I think if I walk over there, all the noise I'm gonna make on that foliage is, is gonna scare him away. The one bad thing about nicer weather is all the damn bugs. They're, they're bugging me. I got nothing to lose by trying to walk over here because he's just parked. Let's see what we can do. Now, given how much heavier this tripod is now with this gimbal head, I probably should have brought the Insta360 rather than this getup. Because now I'm trying to carry two heavy ass things. If you look out there, you remember all of this was pretty much underwater last week. And now it's almost all mud. I'm so thrilled that I was able to come out here, especially with this new gimbal head and get these shots before it rained. How you doing? Beautiful day, isn't it? Indeed. Oh, well, there's still some left. Yeah, last time I came here a couple weeks ago, there were probably 50, 60 of them in there. That's the thing about this place, is that you just turn your head and all of a sudden there's something really cool if you're, if you're looking for it. Very cool. Yeah, have fun. Yeah, for sure. There, you see, you share nature with people. And it's true, you walk through here, you turn your head and there's something cool. Of course, I could have turned the camera and showed you, but that's all right. You've seen it already. Basically, the cocoon was sort of busted open, but there were still a bunch of caterpillars. Okay, so I think that that's going to be it for today. And I really dig this new setup, although it's heavy and I gotta get a better strap. I will not be doing this A6600 thing again, simply because of the fact that this is just too awkward to hold this thing or carry it and have to set it down and then try to get this thing set up. Not if I want to actually get, you know, quick shots. So that's it. Uh, I will link that gimbal head in the description. It makes this work that much better when I'm trying to do this birding th thing, which th apparently I've totally gotten into. I'm really digging it and I'm having a lot of fun. And I hope you're digging the pictures and my witty banter. If you have any comments or suggestions or whatever, as always, put them down in the comment section. Thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.